Alright, today we're going to look at how to create a regression analysis on your Inspire, and it's going to be quadratic, and then after we create that quadratic uh, regression, we're going to analyze it for a maximum height of our pro projectile and where it crosses the x-axis. So basically, you know, how long was it in the air? Uh, when you're doing a regression, these are some things you need to keep in mind, uh, that you need to create a scatter plot first, and find a regression model that fits today. It'll be quadratic. Tomorrow it'll be who knows. Superimpose the graph of the regression model on the scatter plot and observe the fit. Is it a good fit? Is it not? You can tell a lot just by looking. Uh, we'll also talk about the R squared value and you'll see what that means. And then we'll use the regression model to make the predictions for our problem. Uh, the information we're going to use is from example 8 on page 181 in your book. It gives us a table of values that looks like this. Uh, what we're going to do is open up a new document on the Inspire and when we do that um, we're just going to simply choose to create a list and spreadsheet arrow key up label this first guy X and put your information in please be careful here because you want to make sure that you get everything correct and if one one little misplaced decimal can be a problem So double check everything as you're going. And just make sure that all these guys are correct. We're going to have to scroll back by them anyway, and if we see an error, we can fix it. Alright, and give the second column the title of Y, and put in our numbers here for, from our data. And so make sure that you've got everything in correctly. Your tables need to be the same length. If they're not, see if you can figure out, like I've got, I've got off an a row here, uh, 0.43. So right here, 1.80392. So I need to make that correction. And the reason you want to check is because you will not get a very accurate graph if you are off by one row with your data, um, you need to have both rows being the same length. That guy's not right. 1.50. Alright, so we've got our data here. And to analyze this, we want to make sure that it uh, is in a form that we can recognize. And this is not a scatter plot. This is a table of points. It's hard for us to imagine exactly how these would look. So click on Menu and choose Data. And then let's go down and look at a quick graph. So here's a quick graph of our information. And uh, use your mouse pad on, on your calculator. And get your calculator to uh, scroll down here into this bottom square. It'll prompt you. And choose th the X coordinate. So it moves all those guys around. And then use your mouse again and scroll over here to the right. And click in there and choose the Y coordinate. So we've got these two guys now. And looky there, we've got a point that just doesn't look quite right. So 
point three two two five and one point seven seven four one two. So one point seven seven four one two enter. There we go. So this looks like a parabola, acts like a parabola, should act, could it be a parabola? And I like to look at my graphs bigger. Um, I don't mind a squished screen, but I, I like to have a little room to, to maneuver. And so one of the things that you can do is um, click your document button, and you can choose the page layout option, and then choose to ungroup, and it'll spread those two slides out. To move back and forth between slides, just hit the control key, and then you can arrow key left or right. Uh, so control right takes us to our graph, control left takes us back to our uh, table of points. So here's my parabola, and it looks like a parabola, it acts like a parabola. Can I analyze it? Yes, I can. Choose the menu button, and we will analyze this guy, uh, and we're going to do a regression and we want to do a quadratic regression, a quadratic regression here, okay? And the reason we want the quadratic regression is because that's the thing that we're interested in trying to determine. So it also, for us, it's going to have the best shape. And look, it's, it's just about perfect. That's really a good looking uh, fit, okay? And it's got a parabola shape. And here's your equation for your parabola right here. So you can move that guy around a little bit if you need to see him but that's what we're looking at. Now come back over here to your table of points. Arrow key into column C. And what we'll do now is we'll run the regression here as well so that we can get a table uh, that will show us exactly uh, what the equation is and what this R squared value is. So now we're going to choose statistics and then stat calculations and then again the quadratic regressions really what we're interested in. So choose 6. Uh, X list is X, Y list is Y, and it will automatically save the equation into F1. So when we open up a graph in just a minute, it'll be ready to go. The rest of these guys you can leave as a default, and the result column, uh, go ahead and mark as C because we are in the third column. And here's your regression information. Here's the, all the equations. Here's your A, B, and C part for the regression. And here's this R squared value right here, 0 0.99307. The closer this is to 1, the better the fit. And so when the R squared is, is this tight, that's almost a perfect fit. So now what we want to do is open up a graph. Hit the Control key and I, and it will automatically add a new page. And this time we want our page to be a graph, so choose 2. And notice that we are prompted to go to F2. Well, guess what? That's because F1 is used. So here's our graph in here. We don't see the whole thing, and that's fine. Just choose Enter, and your graph will show up on your calculator. There it is. Now, with the, with the calculator here, uh, what we can do is uh, now we can look at, like, what the maximum height of our graph was of our object that was that was launched. Where did, where did it uh, finally fall back to the earth, and, and and where does it hit that x axis? How long was it in the in the sky or or in free fall? And the way to do that, it's all going to be through your menu key. So on menu, we want to analyze the graph. And a couple of the options we get: we get zero, min, max, intersection, inflection. Uh, differentiation and integration and so we want the ones that we're going to work with are the zeros and the maximum for this guy so let's go ahead and start with the zero it's first up and use your mouse and move your finger from left to right and you want to just click on the left and on the right of that first zero and there's your first zeros negative 0.219 seconds okay uh, we don't really need the negative seconds when we're talking about launching something. So uh, let's find a maximum height now. So menu, analyze the graph, max, and again from left to right. And so mouse around 
and click on the left hand side of the max and then click on the right hand side of the max and you'll see that our maximum height was 1.8 meters and that it occurred at 0 0.402 seconds in. The last thing that we want to do is analyze the graph again for that other zero and so mouse around and go from left to right it'll tell you what the zero is and it took 1.02 seconds for our object once it was launched to land and that's how you on your inspire can analyze a regression uh, and can graph a scatter plot